Today, members of the Ad Hoc Committee on Finance for Parliaments of the International Conference on the Great Lakes Region met in Nairobi to look into how member states are financing the forum and adopt resolutions on what needs to be done. It was brought to the attention of the committee that some member states are defaulting on their annual contributions, which stifles the activities of the forum. The forum was established by the heads of states in the Great Lakes region to support themselves in matters of security and the economy. Some of the activities include fact-finding missions on peace and security, women and education, among others. The expected annual contribution from 2012 is $13,644,000, but only $7,818,000, which is 57%, has been paid. Onyango Kakoba is the Secretary General of the Forum. When we don't have the money, then we have our planned activities may not take place because we cannot fund them. So what happens is that you have activities that are planned in accordance with our action plan, but you cannot implement them because you don't have the funds. Sudan, South Sudan, Kenya and Democratic Republic of Congo are among the countries with the highest amount of areas out of the U.S. dollars, 5,825,930 total areas. However, some legislators didn't want the defaulters to be named during the presentation. I have seen if somebody is put on the board that you have not paid for five years or so, it is like on the wall of shame. And sometimes people rub it off. Making it public, I think it is one way of showing our transparency. Some of the member states like Kenya, which has areas amounting to close to a million dollars, want the areas waived. It's difficult to deal with areas before 2015. Um, and, and I think as we come to the real discussion on that matter, I, I, still, I still stand there and I'm going to ask, like I did then, that my, my colleagues in this hall begin to consider seriously how practically this committee deals with this matter practically. I've also noticed that by and large, there is a correlation between those countries that don't pay and their participation in this forum. And that therefore there can come a time <laughs> when we can insist on strictness and end up diminishing the forum itself. If, if they, 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 are, they are waived off, then definitely you would find that what we would have got, we would expect to get, we don't get it. And number two, the danger is that when we wave off, then you may encourage other countries you may encourage other countries also not to, to pay. Other members of the committee shared their views on the way forward in order for the forum to recover the areas. I would suggest that this committee moves, if necessary, meets the, the presidents of these countries, have discussion, remind them, some of the presidents are new, remind them why this organization was formed. However, Today's resolutions will be tabled during the plenary for consideration, which will be held in March. Angola, Burundi, Uganda and Zambia are the only countries out of the 12 member states that have no areas. In 2004, presidents of the member states of the Great Lakes region thought it wise to form the Forum of Parliaments of the International Conference on the Great Lakes region that would look into the issues of security and involvement within the region. It has been noted that some of the members are not contributing to the coffers of the forum, yet this money is supposed to be running its activities. And failure to do so, it is as good as flogging a dead horse. Sudil Yarhanga, NTV, Nairobi.